an early morning flight to New Delhi, India from Paro International Airport, Bhutan via the Royal Bhutan Airlines with a first class accommodation. From the airport, we drove three hours to our hotel, Radisson Blue Agra. This is the entrance gate to Agra Fort. Agra Fort was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1983. Agra Fort was built by Emperor Akbar of the Mughal Empire primarily as a military fortress but later became the main residence of the Emperor of the Mughal Dynasty until 1638 Agra was once the capital of India until it was transferred to Delhi in 1638 Agra Fort showcases Mughal architecture and designs. It was built with bricks and a blend of Hindu and Islamic architecture in red sandstones and white marbles. It took 4,000 workers to finish this massive fortress in 8 years. The walls of Agra Fort is 70 feet high. Best time to visit this fort is from October to March and open from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Most part of the fort is occupied by Indian military army and only a limited part is open for tourists. Taj Mahal was designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1983, a jewel of Muslim art in India and one of the world's heritage masterpieces. This is the best example of Mughal architecture and a symbol of India's rich history. Taj Mahal, known as a crown of palace, is an ivory-white marble mausoleum built by Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan in honor of his third wife, Mumtaz Mahal, who died after giving birth to their 14th child at the age of 40. Emperor Shah Jahan was also buried in this mausoleum with his wife after his death. The rest of the other wives were buried in the mausoleum outside Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal's construction was about 22 years to finish with more than 20,000 laborers recruited all over Asia and more than 1,000 elephants to transport supplies and materials to the construction site. The construction cost in today's rate is estimated to value more than 1 billion US dollars. 
Taj Mahal was declared one of the new seven wonders of the world in 2007. This complex is closed on Fridays for prayers. The marble walls of Taj Mahal were decorated with 28 types of precious and semi-precious stones like jade from China, turquoise from Tibet, sapphire from Sri Lanka, and lapis from Afghanistan. The white marbles came from Rajasthan. However, these jewels were stolen by thieves and conquerors. Famous foreign dignitaries and celebrities visited Taj Mahal like Princess Diana and Prince Charles, President Donald and Melania Trump, and Canada Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and many more. way to Jaipur, we stopped at Chand Bauri. Chand Bauri was built more than 1,000 years ago and is the deepest and the largest stepwell in the world. This massive stepwell consists of 3,500 steps and is comparable to 13-story building and is located in the Abhaneri village of Rajasthan. The purpose of this well is it serves as a reservoir or a storage tank that stores a large amount of water in this extremely arid or dry state of Rajasthan. Today, this step well is no longer in use, but before, it is a source of drinking water and a place for meditation, bathing, and cooling. Palace of the Winds consists of 953 small windows to keep the wind blowing inside the palace and it is a separate complex built for the royal ladies in which the royal ladies can watch the daily lives of the city without being seen by the public. Not to miss in Jaipur is a visit to the massive Amber Fort by riding an elephant. <laughs>
Philippines. Number 4 is one of the most splendid example of Rajasthani architecture. The construction of this fort took about 100 years. Amber Fort or Amber Fort is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is the top tourist attraction in Jaipur area. In the time of Maharajas, the Ganis pool was used as an entrance to the palace. You will see a small window on the top of the building and is used by the royal women to see what's happening in the courtyard because they were not allowed to be seen in public. Inside the Amber Fort, you will see the famed Shesh Mahal or the Palace of Mirrors, a room with walls and ceiling completely embedded with thousands of glittering mirrors and colored glasses imported from Belgium. The entire room can be illuminated with just one candle. Monkey Temple, Jaipur, is about 10 kilometers from Jaipur and is also called Galtaji Temple. This is a pilgrimage site for Hindus and often visited by the people from all over the country. This temple is dedicated to Lord Hanuman, also called the Sun God. In this temple, you can find two breeds of monkeys, the Risos Makaki and the Lagur Monkeys. Sometimes, you can find monkeys swimming in the pool of holy water, which is believed to wash away the sins of those who came and bathed with the water. This water came from natural springs. The best time to visit this temple is at sunset and you can see the temple adorned 
in golden light and several monkeys are seen playing in the compound of the temple. The temple is open from 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. for visitors on all days of the week. Jantar Mantar is one of the most visited attraction in Jaipur. It was built by the founder of Jaipur, Rajasthan, King Sawai Jai Singh II in the first half of 18th century. It consists of 19 astronomical instruments to measure the time of day and study time and space. Jantar Mantar has the biggest stone sundial in the world measuring 27 meters high. This sundial gives an accuracy of time of 2 seconds. The most photographed Jaya Prakash Yantra is one of the instrument found inside the Jantar Mantar Observatory. It represents the horizons and used for finding the position of heavenly bodies. Today, it is used to determine the perfect day for Indian weddings. There are five observatories built by Sawai Jai Singh and this one in Jaipur is the largest of all and it is the most complete and well preserved. Jantar means instrument and mantar means calculate. Collectively, it means calculating instrument. This place has been visited by astronomical experts and scholars around the world. This is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Next to our visit is the Maharaja City Palace which is located at the center of the Pink City. This showcases the mixture of Rajput, Mughal, and European style architecture. It is a complex of gardens, pavilions, palaces, and temples and was built from 1722 to 1733. The city palace houses the museum that contains the costumes of the royal families, clothes, Asian saris, and jewelries. Also inside the museum is an interesting clothing used by Sawai Madhu Singh I, which weighs 250 kilograms and about 1 to 2 meters wide. The other part of this palace is currently used by the Jaipur royal family as residence. One of the most interesting facts inside the palace is the largest pure silver jar in the world made of 14,000 silver coins recorded by the Guinness Book of World Records. This jar was filled with Ganges holy water for drinking and was used by Maharaja Sawai Madhu the Singh, the second on his trip to England to attend the coronation ceremony of Edward VII in 1902. This place is open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Hatigaon is located at the foothills of Amber Palace and was completed in 1910. It is designed 
conducive to the natural habitats of the elephants where water is abundant for elephant to bathe and enough vegetation to survive. It is a housing project by the government to house 100 elephants and their families that take care of the elephants. Jaipur in this 200-year-old Shapura house owned by the royal family of Rajasthan. It has a traditional Rajput architecture with Luga and Nijan design. It showcases the history, culture, and traditions of Rajasthan. Thanks for watching! If you're new to my channel, please like, subscribe, 